Hello students and welcome back to the channel. Today we will see what is priority scheduling. Let us know what is priority first and its significance in scheduling. Priority indicates the sequence in which the jobs will be processed on a machine or in the work center. When the machine work center becomes free, the job with the highest priority is assigned. Choice of the right sequencing rule based on one criteria becomes quite difficult as no single rule is ideal for all situations. So some of the criteria used are setup cost, inventory cost, idle time, percentage jobs late, then average job lateness, average flow time, average number of jobs in the system and the last one is average time to complete a job. Now let's understand single criteria priority sequencing rules. There are total 10 rules. Now let's see them one by one. The very first is first come first serve, where the jobs are scheduled for work in the same sequence as they arrive at the work center. The rule is commonly applied in banks or supermarkets. Then the next is short processing time or minimum processing time. Here the job with shortest processing time at the work center is given the highest priority. This rule minimizes the work in process inventory. Next one is longest processing time. Here the job with longest processing time is scheduled as the first job. Next is least slack job first. In this rule, the highest priority is given to the job which has the least slack. Now let us understand what is slack. Slack is the difference between available time and the duration of processing the job. Next is earliest due date job first. Here the job will be prioritized according to the due dates. That is job having earliest due date is given the highest priority. Now the next one is truncated shortest processing job first. This rule sequences the jobs according to the shortest processing time rule, except that the jobs that have been waiting for a time period longer than a specific truncation time are given higher priority. Next is preferred customer order first. Here the jobs belonging to a preferred customer are given higher priority. Next, random selection. This rule is used very rarely. It may be used when no other consideration is important. Next is COVERT, that is cost over time rule, C-O-V-E-R-T. This rule uses the ratio of expected delay cost to the processing time. The job with the largest ratio is given the highest priority. And the last one is least change over time. The sequencing of jobs is done by analyzing the total cost of making all the machines change over between jobs. So students, here we have seen what is priority sequencing and its criteria. We will see numericals in the next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. For more updates, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon.